what is up nerds it's your boy six Meister back at it again with another banger prepared for you this is another midterm series that we're going to be running on the channel from now on this is going to be part one of the new series what if naruto had the curse mark obviously placed there by orochimaru in a hypothetical where he intentionally created the heaven style curse mark to be placed on a jinchuriki with the intention of inevitably stealing their body similar to what he originally did with Sasuke, but this time obviously with Naruto. Before we get too deep into this video, I will be saying this. This video comes out today, in exactly one week we will be dropping part two, and the following week we will actually be dropping a movie for what if Naruto was a fox sage so if you're excited for that make sure to leave a comment down below and also if you haven't yet make sure to smash subscribe and hit that bell notification to be reminded of future content on top of that we just dropped a new line of curse mark styled merch you could check out the link down in the description and you should be seeing them on screen right now so without further ado this is mini boy six let's get started And yeah, thanks to our lovely friend Anthony, we were able to use this awesome song as our intro for this series. Uh, make sure to shout out Anthony down in the comments. He is always a G when it comes to this stuff. Also, thank you to the boys in our Discord VC that helped me edit this video. If you want to be a part of our Discord community, the link will be on screen and down in the description box below. Also. If you like any of the art you see within this video, make sure to go check out my Fiverr I do do art for commissions down there. <laughs> I said do do. But I've wasted your time long enough. Let's get this started. In a dark, damp lab somewhere deep underground, Orochimaru had just finished his newest project, the Heaven Based Curse Seal. A project he had been working on to place specifically on Agent Chiriki in hopes of harnessing the power of their tailed beast and eventually stealing their body. As he revels in his victory and his compliance of this magnificent, magnificent moment, he calls over his assistant Kabuto, telling him to prepare to head out to the leaf. Elsewhere, Team 7 had just returned from a mission at the Land of Waves. Kakashi congratulates them for their performance, gives them their rewards for completing the mission in form of payment, and tells them to prepare for a rest, since pretty soon something big is going to come up, and even though he can't tell them right now, they should just heed his warning, maybe get in a little bit of training, but make sure that they are fully ready and fully healed up, for what is about to come. About a week would pass before the tuning exams would start, and on the side of Team 7, mostly would go according to canon, at least up until we hit the Forest of Death, since here is where things would really start to change. Some time passes before the Forest of Death as we see Naruto interacting with a character named Kabuto in the first stage of the tuning exams. At first, they seem pretty friendly, and for the most part, all of the interactions go as per usual, at least as they do in canon. That is until we get to the Forest of Death. After quite the time in the forest, the team actually went through a few interactions by now and are pretty tired as they would make their way to an opening, finding a small hidden area where they could rest. At some point, Naruto would say that he's off to take a leak, having to relieve himself, of course, as he would split off from the rest of Team 7. Here we flash across the scene of Kabuto standing in the tree line, 
flashing over some hand seals and disappearing from sight. Moments later, we hear his voice and see an odd-looking pale female licking their lips. This is, of course, Orochimaru, who had taken over the body of a young female shinobi from the hidden grass village. Here, Orochimaru would start heading towards Team 7, and branching off right before heading the location they had settled. At this point, we see Orochimaru narrowing in on Naruto, who had been taking a leak up until this point. We see him flashing through some hand signs right before getting to Naruto as a giant snake is summoned behind him and it starts barreling towards Naruto's friends. Naruto, hearing the rumbling of earth as the snake moves, turns around to see it heading directly towards his friends. And as he leaps off to try and stop it, he is encountered by Orochimaru. Orochimaru would tell him that it's not yet time for him to bounce off and that he has a test to fulfill. Naruto, on the other hand, would make some smug remarks about Orochimaru being a bastard and he has to get to his friends, they might be in danger. This is where we would see an altercation between Naruto and Orochimaru, similar to the one that happened between Orochimaru and Sasuke in canon, with Naruto using all the jutsu in his arsenal to try and hack away at Orochimaru, and him telling Naruto that Naruto is a far away from being perfect, as he would hit Naruto with what looks to be a ceiling formation. As Naruto stumbles back, a bunch of energy releases from him. A red cloak surrounds him as he would feel enraged, his mind dispersing all over the place, as he would once again attack the female. At this point, the battle actually takes up and Naruto is able to land a few hits. Combined with clones and the new claws that he has upon him, he is able to strike at Orochimaru as a tail slowly forms behind him. At this point, Orochimaru has enough as his disguise is starting to wear off, and he hears in the distance footsteps. He says, Well, this is the end of our test, Naruto Uzumaki, as his neck would extend and he'd bite Naruto on his neck, leaving behind a singular seal. As his neck retracts, a group of Ambu led by Anko would appear. First, they try to stop Orochimaru, but he'd disappear as fast as he'd arrive. They check if Naruto's okay, and he said he's fine and intends to continue the exam. At first, Anko does not realize the curse mark placed on him and just thought that this was an unfortunate encounter for the young Ninetales Jinchuriki and would move on to try and track down Orochimaru. Naruto would find his way to his friends only to see that they had in fact taken care of the snake, as when he arrives, it would be dispelled from the damage it took during the bout. At first, Sakura would make a comment about where Naruto was and why they had to fight this thing alone. And as he's about to retort, he falls forward for a second, exhausted from his own battle. Sasuke would tell Sakura that she should hold up. Clearly, Naruto had been in a battle of his own and had come out pretty injured. Seeing the scuff marks on his neck, followed by the marking, Sasuke would question it. But Naruto would say that he doesn't know before falling unconscious. At this point, some time would pass before inevitably, Team 7 would encounter the Sound Trio. Also, just want to mention real quick that this video will have a comment like, so if you want this series to indefinitely continue make sure to go leave a comment in the comments down below uh feel free to say anything you like maybe about your thoughts about the series or how you would like the series to continue since this is still an active in progress series and you can affect the writing so if you have any ideas make sure to let me know also the comment goal for this video will actually be 50 so if we don't match that we might not continue just really depends on how much i like the series so without wasting any more time let's just get back to the video this time unlike canon sasuke would actually still be conscious he would be exhausted and low on chakra but when the sound three do pop up along with lee and sakura he would be able to fight back at first the three would push back sasuke and sakura with sasuke not being able to do much except evade until lee obviously steps in this is where we see them fighting back a little bit until naruto awakens Unlike usual, we don't see Naruto's curse mark develop similar to Sasuke's. Instead, red energy comes pulsing out of his mark, 
and that energy forms the curse mark markings so unlike sasuke's black naruto's is made up of red markings looking similar to nine tails energy so naruto would get up and similar to sasuke they would try to convince him to stay back since he is exhausted and he would ignore them feeling a bunch of boiled up rage in the inner core of his mind he would let out on these guys and he would injure them severely he wouldn't create any clones which is a first for naruto in combat so far but he would do significant damage severely outspeeding each member of the sound four predicting and countering most of their attacks and every single hit he lands is extremely powerful his left hand even develops chakra claws which he does use to cut into dosu's armor or dosu's gauntlet so after this interaction obviously they'd win lee would try to say something but naruto would convince them to not he said that he's gonna rest just a bit longer not go back to sleep instead catch a breather and then the rest of them could start heading back towards the tower since now thanks to the sound trio they have all the scrolls they need lee would make a smug remark saying that what makes naruto think that they won't grab a scroll from this team sasuke would mention that it's not likely that lee's team actually don't have both their scrolls already at this point neji and tenten would jump in saying that sasuke is actually right and maybe knocking some competition out of the woods wouldn't really be a bad thing at this point considering their entire team is exhausted sasuke once again picking up after sakura tries to stand up for their group would say that that's not likely since lee would probably want to fight him again especially after that entire interaction earlier that day lee would nod and neji would say that he does not listen to lee and lee would probably have some funny interaction like oh neji don't be like that and inevitably we'd still get to the tower where things go more or less as per usual obviously at this point we prepare for the semifinals after a few days of rest sasuke and sakura would have also told kakashi about naruto's ailment since naruto wouldn't have practically begged them not to similar to what sasuke did so kakashi would be aware but since this is still the effects of the chunin exams he would tell naruto that they will deal with this entire curse seal after the preliminaries but yeah that is going to be it for this episode guys in the next episode we will be covering everything starting from the preliminaries up to the sound invasion if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash like and comment down below Tell me what you are expecting from the next episode and so on and so forth. If you want to chill out with me and the guys, we do have a Discord link down in the description and all that type of good stuff. If you want to see the custom curse mark merch, link is down there. All that type of stuff. This has been your boy Six. Peace. Until next time, nerds, we'll meet again in the virtual world where heroes ascend. Keep the flame of adventure burning bright. Until next time, nerds, let's take flight.